Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're talking about Arrows, Season 6, Episode 19, called The Dragon. So, we start off the episode with a flashback where Diaz, as a kid, was being bullied and threatened by a bigger kid. And the bully burned a photo of Diaz's. Then we go to the present day where um, Black Siren and Diaz on um, talk and Bloodhaven. And they want to talk to the Quadrant, which is like four families that control a huge crime organization. And I kind of one of the guys said um, Bertinelli's son. Anyway, um, so that's who they're meeting with to arrange a meeting to talk to the Quadrant. Then we have uh, Curtis and Felicity talk, and they're doing Helix stuff and trying to get everything up and running for that. They have, uh, then we get back to Diaz, uh, talks about bringing stuff to Star City for free, and the only thing that he wants is a seat at the table. Guy says no, but offers an audition to consider it, and they need to get dirt on, um, this FBI guy. And then we have, uh, Diaz accepts, then goes postal in the bathroom because he made him feel kind of like less than. And he's got a little bit of an issue with that, so he punched a mirror. And then we have Diaz and Black Siren are at the location. Then they talk some more and take pictures of the guy. Then we have Felicity and Curtis talk um, some more. And talking about Oliver, how, like, um, basically I date on the team and what's been happening and where everyone is at this point. And so then Diaz shows the picture to the uh, guy. Then the guy is very rude. Um, but he still goes with the plan, and um, then we have Black Siren goes postal, goes cray on the um, FBI people, and they get the guy. <clears throat> then when the, they go outside, uh, Bertinelli shot at both of them, and but Diaz was prepared, and he had cavalry on, so it didn't really affect him that much. And then we have the Quadrant, it's one after Diaz's business, and then we have Diaz confronts Bertinelli at the club um, a little bit later on, and then we cut to where Felicity is working too hard and because uh, she's freaking out, and then um, about like not being all his ear, knowing where he is and all that type of thing. Then they see the news where Arrow's in the glades, and then an explosion happens, and they think that he died in the flames or something bad happened. Then Diaz confronts Bertinelli again. Then he talks about the bully and literally cuts his face. And then he confesses and turns out they didn't tell the quadrant about Diaz, but um, the dad is one of, uh, wanted to get rid of him and take over Star City. And so he goes cray on the guy and then um, he gets the location of the meeting. Then we have Black Star and Diaz um, strategize. And basically, Diaz runs on fear. And I don't know, he insults himself. He makes himself feel down and stuff like that. And then we have uh, Black Siren says he asks a lot, like Zoom, with like a lot of hate. And actually, uh, kind of, she's starting to not feel it anymore, like be on the scene or anything. Like, she, you can definitely tell she's starting to have uh, thoughts of, like, turning over a new leaf and not trying to leave this behind. And then, um, so they use the kid to, um, so they, they go to the location and they use the guy, the douchebag kid, or guy or whatever, and sends him in the building and blows it up, and then we have BS, um, then we have... <laughs> Black Siren is um, starting to turn. She's starting. To, she's literally starting to um, starting to change her mind throughout the entire episode. At first, she was very gung ho about it. Now, it's, she's slowly but surely not really okay with this. And then she and then Diaz talks to the Quadrant and gives a speech about um, Star City. And the guy's dad is very, 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 very rude to him, which. It's a no-no, obviously, but he literally keeps mouthing off, and so Diaz um, gets rid of him. 
And then uh, the rest are okay with it and they want to hear more. And so he has a seat at the table and literally starts. He's in the he's in the quadrant now. Then we have Diaz has one more problem and talks to some random guy. Then we have Oliver's home. But Felicity is upset slash Vince and he reassures her that he is going to come home every time. And then Diaz's guy is actually Jesse the bully and pours gas on him then lights him on fire with uh, Blackstone kind of like what have I got myself into again. So that was the end of the episode. Uh, a crazy episode. I actually like how it's kind of dragon um Centric. It wasn't really focused on the team, even though they were kind of peppered in there. But, uh, you know, I just thought it was kind of a great move, actually, because you get. They don't really do villains that much ju justice by not showing, like, a, they don't really show backstories or anything like that. So he's more three dimensional and more well rounded, which is a good thing. And <clears throat> you almost feel sorry for him. Almost, but not really. So, um, I really did like this episode. So, I'll give this an A-plus episode. And we get to see Blast Iron just starting to... It's like, oh, God, why am I in this again? And she, she I think she actually wants to be good, but obviously, she needs to work on that. <laughs> so, anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do for this um, episode. I know this is up late. I got caught with other stuff, and I'm super tired. So, I'm going to put this up as soon as possible, provided I don't fall asleep. Anyway, so just like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.